Case in point, more than 755,000 Wisconsinites will travel between now and Monday. Michelle Fiore is live with that story. Hey, Carol and George, take a look behind me. Something is missing from back there. It is those incredibly long TSA lines that we've been seeing in other cities. Chicago's had some of the worst TSA check-in lines this week, but Milwaukee's been doing okay. The whole place looks easy, easy in and out all the way through. Julie Starks was glad she booked her flight out of Mitchell. Well, they haven't talked about Milwaukee being a problem, so I was hopeful. Right. So, but we're here plenty early, two hours ahead, so. Do you ever fly out of O'Hare? I try not to. AAA says you might want to get to the airport three hours early. But Memorial Day is more of a driving holiday. AAA says 89% of travelers will go by car. Ollie Smith has family coming up from St. Louis. I barbecue every year, but we don't have family like that here every year. Though, so. Cheaper gas prices have made that family reunion possible this year. Outside Milwaukee Intermodal today, the grill is already fired up, and so are the passengers. We are going to Chicago to see Beyonce at Soldier Field. You look a little excited. We're really excited. <laughs> We're back out here live. It's a relatively busy Friday evening here, but the best part, of course, no canceled flights and short TSA lines. Reporting live at Mitchell, Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. A lot of travelers are very happy to hear that. Michelle, thank you very much.